podcast for uh, touchgaming.org. Today we'll be reviewing Tetris from EA, which is a paid application currently available for $7.99 in the application store. As you can see here, there's two main game modes, as well as a more games option that shows you some more EA games. Um, there's also a statistics option that shows you your high scores, your lines, your magic high scores and levels. Um, you can also go to the options. You can select to turn on or off the music. You can also change the global volume. You can turn off special effects. You can also turn on or off the tutorial. Um, you can turn on the ghost feature, which is where you can see where your blocks will drop before they actually fall. You can also turn on sparkles, which show you where you should drop your pieces. There's a help option, which teaches you how to play. Most of these options will show up as tutorials before you start playing, or when you unlock new power-ups. Also an about feature, which tells you about the game. Legal information, versions, credits, etc. Um, we'll start off in the marathon mode, which is your run of the mill Tetris game. Start a new game here, and you can choose which level to start on, and the various levels dictate the difficulty, but we'll start on level 1. And you can see the tutorial here, and we'll play that so you can see how the game works. Um, you can see that you can rotate the piece by clicking on either side of the screen. Um, you can move the piece by moving left or right. And you can drag down to move it slowly or you can flick it to drop the piece. You can also press the hold in the top left to hold the piece. And so we'll start the game now and you can see the gameplay in the marathon mode. Um, I'm not very good at Tetris but you can get the general idea. So what we can do here is we can move our finger left and right to move the piece. You can move it down slightly by slowly dropping it, or you can also flick down to drop the piece. And we'll hold this piece by pressing hold, and we continue on with the game like so. Um, we'll try to build up a little combo here. Hopefully that'll work out, with no problems. You can also switch rotation sides by pressing either side. I usually forget about that, but it's quite helpful. And why don't we? Oh, drop that piece there. There we go. And you got your points. As you can see, it's a goal for how many lines you need to break before your level increases. And as the levels increase, the game gets faster and harder. I usually play without the ghost because with the ghost. It's pretty easy to play because you can see where the pieces would drop but it's also a nice feature to have the ghost because well, low battery well that's a good way to stop marathon mode because that's just run over the middle Tetris game and so there's also a unique feature which is the magic mode which is a special Tetris mode and skip the tutorial you've already seen that and for each level you have to clear a certain number of lines and the interesting thing about this Tetris mode is that you get special power-ups which you unlock as you move across the game so we'll go through a few levels here at the beginning there's no power-ups so it's just like a regular Tetris game but as you advance levels you will gain more power-ups which you can use to make the game easier to play And we'll just do that. There we go. Now we've advanced the level. And as you can see, it tells you your level score and your total score. And you can see if you've used your items. And currently we have none. So Now we've unlocked a new item and it's a minimizer. Which lets you pinch the 
the Tetris pieces as they fall to turn it into a single piece. And we'll just skip the tutorial so I can show you in actual gameplay. So we'll drop a few pieces here to get an idea of how to use it. Drop that, drop that, drop that. And let's say you want to fill that spot with a single piece. You can pinch the Tetris piece. Oh well, it's not working very well. Oh, I guess it's not available yet. I'll show you the feature in a second then. I guess I'm still fairly new to this game, but once you can see that the bar is moving up, which means that the power up will be unlocked soon. So hopefully the game won't end before it's unlocked. Hmm. So clear some for demonstration purposes. So we still have four more. Now the power up is activated. So what we can do is press that and now we can pinch the piece and it becomes a single block. So now we can drop that. You have a limited number of power ups per level, so you need to use them sparingly. What we can do is pinch that again and now we have a single piece to drop into that hole. Makes the game play much easier. So we'll go through one more level, and then that'll, and then we'll reach the conclusion of the video review, because there's not much else to the game besides these power-ups, of which there are five that you can use. And so we've leveled up. Uh, magic mode is actually quite interesting, and it provides a new type of gameplay if you're used to just playing regular Tetris. So now we've unlocked Bubble Wrap, which turns all the touch, all the lockdown blocks in the matrix to bubble wrap you can pop them to make space or to just let off steam so hopefully we'll get that activated soon so here we go there it is the bar isn't ready yet but we'll try to get that done here we'll demonstrate the minimizer function again pinch the block oops I guess I missed that but it's alright drop some more pieces perfect it seems when you clear some lines, the power-up bar moves faster. So there we go. Uh, we'll drop some random pieces so we can pop some bubbles. The bubble wrap feature is useful because you can clear up space if you've created too many holes in your Tetris area. Okay, so now we activate the bubble wrap feature and we can pop these pieces to free up room. There's a timer on the side that shows you how long you have. And so that'll conclude our video. There are many, there are three other power-ups besides the ones that were featured, and you can, if you decide to purchase the game, you can see those on your own, and you can interact with them. Now, now Magic Mode isn't that different from the regular Tetris games, except for that it offers power-ups. But this game is quite nice. It has a nice interface, good graphics, nice simplistic music, and decent controls. Although there is a tendency to miss your space when you flick down because you can accidentally move your finger a little bit. And so that concludes our video. Please visit touchgaming.org for more videos and our weekly podcast about new releases in the application store. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Touch Gaming, if you want to see more video reviews. Thanks for watching.